Now, the next speaker is going to talk about penetration of biologics, and that's by Sami Slimani, who is the Secretary General of AFLA. Sami, please. Good morning. Thank you very much, Fimi. Uh, I would like to thank ACR for uh, the invitation. Uh, I'm from Algeria, and I present the results of a study of a survey concerning the uh, penetration of biologics in our continent. This survey has I have been helped by Fimi to elaborate the the questionnaire. These are my disclosures. So, as you know, biologics have changed the way we treat patients during the twenty in the last twenty years, but unfortunately, most or even all of the uh, trials have been conducted in the Western countries, with, and there are some specificities in other continents, among them richness, because you know that uh, the African continent is the poorest continent in the world with a GDP per capita of about um, 1,800. Another difficulty is represented by the prevalence of infection. You know as, as well that viral and bacterial um, infections are much more prevalent in our continent than in other uh, places in the, of the world. So these are two challenges in the penetration and the initiation and follow-up of uh, biologics in our continent. So the main aim of our study was to assess the penetration um, of biologics in Africa. We conducted a questionnaire and sent it to uh, some investigators um, around the, 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 the continent. I've sent it to uh, 13 representatives from 13 countries and I got answers from nine um, uh, investigators. So uh, I had uh, four um, responders from uh, North Africa, three from Western Africa, and two from Eastern Africa. This is the questionnaire. It consisted of um, nine questions dealing with the availability, the reimbursement, side effects, and uh, main challenges facing rheumatologists in prescribing uh, biologics. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes to fill. So these are the participating countries, four from North Africa, Algeria, Egypt, Morocco and Tunisia, three countries from West Africa, Mauritania, Senegal and Nigeria, and two countries from East Africa, Kenya and Madagascar. So what are the biologics that are available in our continent? You see that most of biologics are available in Northern African, um, in North African countries, except for the recently um, uh, introduced ones like golimumab, um, secukinumab, and tofacitinib, but most, but all um, just classic uh, ancient anti-TNFs as well as uh, tocilizumab and rituximab are available in North Africa. Notice that in Morocco, uh, um, not only the remicade is available, but, on, uh, but also a biosimilar. It is, it may be the only biosimilar that's available in our continent. When we go to West Africa, you see that. Most of countries have only rituximab, except in Nigeria, where etanercept is also available. And in Eastern Africa, there is a big discrepancy between the two countries. In Kenya, we have the uh, three class, uh, oldest anti-TNFs, as well as the anti-CD20 and anti-IL6 drugs. But in Madagascar, we have only rituximab, and it has only an indication in oncology, so rheumatologists cannot use uh, rituximab in their rheumatic diseases. What was the first time biologics have been introduced in these uh, countries? You see that in Egypt and Tunisia, uh, biologics uh, were made available immediately after their availability in the Western world. Um, later on, uh, it, they were made available in Algeria, Morocco and Nigeria, and more recently in Western, West African countries. And still until now, Madagascar cannot use biologics in rheumatic diseases. What, were the, what are the main indications for biologics in African countries? You see that rheumatoid arthritis is the main indication for, um, uh, these, for these drugs, followed by SPA, in, only in countries where anti-TNFs are available. Um, rituximab was also used for the treatment of uh, lupus for myositis as well. And in North African countries, GIA is a good indication for biologics. Now, who pays for biologics? There is a big um, heterogeneity in uh, responses. There are in, in some countries, it's the government that pays for, for, the, for biologics uh, for patients. Uh, in Algeria, for example, all prescribed biologics is uh, given for free um, from the government. 
uh, in Tunisia and Mauritania, most of uh, patients are treated uh, by uh, freely from, from the government. But in other countries, you see that it's the patient himself who pays for the biologics. This is the case for Senegal, Nigeria, Kenya, for most of patients, as well as Egypt. And in Morocco, it's health insurance that um, is responsible for roughly 80% of prescribed biologics. What are, um, are there any registries, biologics registries in African countries? There are two um, registries that are available in our continent, ongoing registries, because we, ha we don't have yet uh, any published works. We have only abstracts uh, presented in national and international congresses. We have the real bio uh, registry in Algeria and the RB SMR registries, but still we have not uh, published uh, results. What are most common side effects? Uh, roughly, it, 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 these are exactly the same side effects that have been reported in the literature. So we have pruritus infection, especially TB infection. And with the IV biologics, we have um, um, perfusion reactions like fever and skin rash. But we, ha we don't have prevalences because it, just, it, was, it was just a survey, so we cannot make comparisons with uh, first and data. What are the main challenges for the prescriptions of biologics? Indeed, the, the main challenge is the cost, because most of biologics are still given by the government, millimeter availability, or uh, bought by the patient himself. And there are some other uh, difficulties that have been reported, uh, like storage difficulties, uh, um, um, which, are, which were due to um, electric supply problems. So in conclusion, the use of biologics in rheumatology is still challenging in our continent, um, because of the late introduction of biologics, because of the, their cost, um, and which, which limits accessibility. Many biologics are still uh, unavailable until now, and um, infection is a, a major issue to be considered in our, in our continent. I would like to thank uh, the participating um, uh, rheumatologists, and thank you for your attention.